Hey everybody, it's me, Emily, from Lunchtime Jewelry with Emily from Rodville Duo. Uh, today I wanted to uh, give you a quick peek before we got into the jewelry um, about how I organize my jewelry and the different things, the different setups that I use um, to kind of keep me organized and go through all my jewelry um, without... Um, too much confusion and um, overwhelmingness because after a while you get through a lot of jewelry and you need places to put it all. So without further ado, here we go. So this is my setup for doing most of my uh, recording. Um, it is in my dining room <laughs> uh, and I use my light box right here and what I do is I basically just set my um, phone up here and video up down there you can see that and then um, to my right this is kind of just where I keep when I move things to different locations I also have an extra um, lot that I still have to go through um, but I'm waiting to, so that I can record it. Um, and then I use one of these. I'm sure many of you guys have seen these. You can get them on Amazon, but this is kind of, um, how I keep all my different stuff organized and you could see I have, um, findings, which is basically my drawer for, um, jump rings and backings to earrings, loose rhinestones, um, lobster class, different things that I might need to repair jewelry. And then here is my tool drawer. Um, right here I keep my, um, my measuring tape, my magnet, my loop, an extra nail that's <laughs> um, and then just some little odds and ends and then of course I keep this um, with my um, different pliers and um, little tweezers different things I've got um, little screwdrivers you never know when you're gonna need it um, I grew up a carpenter's daughter, so tools are always on hand. <laughs> um, here I keep my um, cards and um, the bags for the cards, and then the little pieces of paper that I use to um, make notes in the cards. And then I have all my different size baggies um, to hold off on my, to hold all my jewelry, the different sizes, um, small to bigger. And then this is my, where I keep my pouches and little baggies, cause you never know. Um, and then these are my larger bags, the Ziploc ones, um, for the bigger jewelry. Um, this is kind of where I keep odds and ends as far as, um, you know, different chains. If I have just individual chains or I have items that I'm not really sure what to do with or um, they need repairing or I want to keep them. You know, it's just a, a different collection of things. <laughs> and then um, right here is my ba um, bracelet drawer um, so anytime I'm putting together a bangles lot um, so anytime I get bangles of any sort I um, throw them in this drawer and then here um, I have um, the different little rhinestones and I have them labeled so that if I'm having trouble identifying a certain gemstone I can look here um, I have a little another little tool set here and then on this side I have 
cleaning products. I've got my silver and jewelry cleaner, uh, stainless steel cleaner, vinegar, because um, I did hear that vinegar gets um, verdigris off pretty well. Some Q-tips. And then in here, um, all my testing stuff. So that's silver and gold testing. This is my, um, my two mandrels for bracelets and rings. My semi-chrome to test my, um, my Bakelite. And then my diamond tester, um, Q-tips, uh, cotton rounds. And having those on hand and then these are the things that I use to take my pictures I've got the um, bracelet bar and the two busts that I use plus um, I've got this for earrings um, and then in here these are all items that I'm going to sell individually so I just need to take pictures of them to get them listed uh, on eBay and then this box, it, this drawer is for items that are going into regular one pound lots or two pound lots or what have you. Um, and so, and then I have this drawer on top that just has more baggies. You can never have too many bags, right? <laughs> um, and so that will, um, this is where I just, my main station um, where I, do most of my working um, and then I will take you downstairs to where I keep all my jewelry that's ready to go. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, now I'm going to show you our second location and this is where I keep most of my jewelry inventory. So this is my, my shelving unit. I picked it up at a our local thrift store for $8. It was destroyed. So I just sanded it up a little bit, covered it in contact paper, put on some new handles, and now I have a dresser. <laughs> so it's a little tight because I'm in my closet. This is my, uh, inventory closet for items that I have listed on eBay. Um, so first off, um, I will show you what I have. So each drawer ha is labeled. So I have name brand. So this is for my 10 piece name brand um, p uh, lots. And as you can see, I have all my jewelry um, sorted. And in this one and then this one is labeled necklace and in here I have all my necklaces all separated um, you can kind of see there's two bins in here and then these are large necklaces like chunky necklaces but you can see how they're all sorted. And then one of the drawers was missing its face. So I turned it into a shelf and I just put um, one of those Tupperware drawers in there. Um, and this is just little odds and ends, repair stuff. And I have another location with chains. Um, in case I ever need um, chains. And then the bottom drawer here, this is gonna be our uh, glasses, pins, brooches, miscellaneous items um, that are listed. Um, I've got all my brooches in here. Um, and then like miscellaneous, I have sun glasses and I don't know, weird costume glasses. <laughs> Um, and then in here I've got tiaras and bolo ties and bookmarks and different things that are made with jewelry. Uh, down here I've got all my sets of jewelry and, um, shell, 
I've got some shells here, shell necklaces that I'm accumulating. Um, and then this is my, um, all my jewelry sets that are uh, necklace and earring or necklace and ring or what have you. And here we have pendants, earrings, and rings. So I've got all my pendants here, my rings in here. And then these are all my earrings. And then the next drawer is my bracelets drawer. Ugh. And in my bracelets drawer, you can see I have all my chunky bangles there. And then these are my individual bracelets um, that I have bagged up that will go in. These will go into my... Um, different lots and then here's my other drawer because this one was also missing a face and in this container I have all jewelry that are gemstones that I am compiling a to do a lot with and in here I have some um, of the lots already put together already ready to go in the mail so you can see this is my one pound um, lot um, and then this is the this is the oh no uh, 40 pound lot um, or 40 piece lot which doesn't want to come out um, oh no why won't it come out Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> um, and then of, up here, um, I just put this one together. Um, this is going to be one that I have to list, but it's a, um, a ma jewelry box, makeup box that I've filled with different jewelry. And it's um, about six pounds. Um, and 65 pieces of jewelry. So that's gonna go in, I have to just list that. I have some more already completed lots that are ready for, for order. And then I have this Tupperware down here. Um, and this is where I put my individually, um, my individual jewelry that has been listed on eBay. So you can see I've got everything in their little plastic envelopes or bags. Um, so when I'm looking for something that's purchased, I can just come here and know that it's all here. And then here's just chunkier, the chunkier jewelry. And um, along here, I have some other pieces. Um, I've got my jewelry lots here that are ready um, to be purchased. Um, and I have some 10 piece name brand boxes put together. Um, I kind of decided to do um, different um, cases or boxes for the 10 piece sets. Um, for the name brands. Um, so that is going there. And this l lucky bad boy, this is a charming Charlie's purse. Um, and this is going to be the purse that is going to have all the bangles in it for my bangle lot. Um, so, um, that's something that I'm working on gathering up. Um, so that is what I have going right now in here, and I will take you to location number three, uh, which is my office. Hey everyone, this is our third stop of our uh, tour. Uh, in here is my office, and this is where I just keep the overflow of um, boxes and bags and things that I use to package up my jewelry lots. 
I also have uh, some of my um, crafting jewelry lots that are ready to be purchased on eBay. So let's just take a look. Okay. So I have this drawer set. Um, and in it is where I kind of just keep the odds and ends like I was mentioning. Um, I have the different little um, boxes that I'll be sending out with my lots. Um, I also have some um, unopened jewelry lots um, that I picked up over the weekend and I'm looking forward to sharing those with you guys. Um, and then over here is where I keep the, um, this is the craft lots. Um, and then I keep like miscellaneous, um, items that I don't necessarily know what I want to do with them. Um, you know, different pins, um, I don't know, keychains. I might do like a keychain lot. Um, not a hundred percent sure yet. Um, but, um, that is kind of kept in this closet. Um, not real exciting, kind of just the leftover, um, items. Um, and I'll give you a tour of the office. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, so I have decorated my whole office in Harry Potter. Um, so I have just kind of a different, um, aspects of the entire series. And then I also have my bust for um, long jewelry that I take, um, that I can use to take pictures. Um, because I know like sometimes on those short ones, it doesn't always work out that great. Um, so yeah. So that pretty much sums up my tour of uh, the way I do things and the way I store my items. Uh, and now I'm looking forward to going through some jewelry. Hey everyone. I am so excited to get down to this jewelry. Also, um, another thing I'm excited about is, da, 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 da. I can pull it out. Look what I got back. Woo! I got my gem tester. Super excited about that. Um, so now I will be able to test items. Um, so very excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So I hope you enjoyed my tour. Um, and, um, now let's see the jewelry. I went ahead and um, untangled and kind of separated the things, the items, so we can kind of look at it without me having to, you know, go through um, all the tangles. So first off, I wanted to go over this piece. Um, it is a nice piece. It's a New York and Company. Um, it's got all these little rhinestones on it. However, it's missing one. So unless I come across that, um, I'm going to set this aside. And if I don't come across that rhinestone, then it will go into a crafting lot. Uh, I didn't prep my... How sad. Um... There we go. Okay. So the next piece I have is 
um, this statement piece. It is a collar necklace. Um, it is kind of like a mixed um, metal tone. Uh, silver, these are silver, and then around it is gold tone. Um, it's on a silver link chain. And it is by Express. And it doesn't have an extender, so it is going to be short. Um, so it's going to sit right at your, your collarbone. Um, let me get a measurement for you guys. So it is a seven inch drop. So um, you may also want to, you could always get an extender. That would be no problem. Um, and then it would be a little bit longer. Okay, so then I have um, this piece. It's a on a delicate link chain. Um, it looks rose gold. Um, the chain does. Um, it does have some wear, um, some pretty noticeable wear on the sides here. Um, pretty sure it's not. Oh, nope. <laughs> it is not silver or gold. Um, and there's some pull there too. Slight pull. Very slight. Um, but, you know, it is sweet, but it does, you know, have some discoloration. I'll see if it cleans up and it will probably just go into a lot. I have this piece. This is interesting looking. Um, it is these gold charms. They're kind of heavy and it has a rhinestone in the middle. And then this has um, these blue enamel beads. I don't know if they're considered beads or like part of the chain. I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, these um, charms, just like the smaller ones, just seem to be like a random design hammered or something. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in. See, it's not really anything. It's kind of just a, I don't know, just a design. Um, and then this one has just the outer design. Kind of gives me like Egyptian vibes, but I don't know. So the maker on this one is Ann Taylor. And let's see, preliminary. Okay, so the chain, the chain links are magnetic. These are not, they're probably just gold plated. The chain, is not um so um i will probably test this hold this aside to test for later um just because i am not sure um okay so then we have this necklace, it's a multi-strand drop um, that comes together on just one chain. 
It is a loft, and it's with these oval link. And then here, these are kind of like the French friendship bracelet material. You can see that. It's like just string. Um, and then it comes down to uh, these multi strands of beads. Um, and they feel just like plastic. They're warm to the touch. But they have a really pretty AB uh, glitz to them. Um, and then there's the, there's some yellow ones and clear ones. And then this strand here is, um, like a gold color and it makes a really neat, um, a neat look. All right. Then I have this long piece, a uh, station necklace with, um, this feels like maybe acrylic. Yeah, acrylic um, on a gold tone chain with some bonus hair. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like a, a yellow, uh, I don't know, um, I wanted to say like banana cream, but <laughs> it's not, it's, um, there's, there's another word for it that you call it, um, that yellow color, like a butterscotch maybe. And there's the tag. And I think I showed you the tag already, but I'll show you one more time. Oh, come on. Focus. There we go. And Taylor. So that's pretty simple. Um, minimalist and then there's this hey 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 stay on your side there's this gold chain that um, just has uh, little stations going uh, up it um, it's sweet it's also like a minimalist piece um, and it has this um, different kind of clasp. Um, if you saw that. My nails get in the way, so you can't really see. But it clasps from up top. Um, kind of like one of those claws that pick up toys in the vending machines. Um, it does look like it needs a, a jump ring. And I don't see a maker. I think this might be our very first non-maker piece. Um, see the clasp? Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Oh, there's something on this clasp. Let's take a closer look with my loop. Oh, geez. Okay. 
it says I have no idea <laughs> um oh come on what does that say Uh, okay, let's see. Can you guys see it? It clears up for like one second. Drifting, drifting. There. Can you guys see it? What does that say? I see like an M. Maybe it's a Monet. Maybe? Monet? Huh. I don't know. And then this side I thought said like PS. Um, oh gosh. Focus. P A something. I don't know, guys. You're going to have to tell me cuz I don't know what that says. <laughs> um so, let's see Okay, it does have some magnetic to it, so it's not real gold, but these little beads are cute. They're just kind of like oval with some texture to them. So that's just a sweet, simple piece. Um, and hopefully I find out who the maker is, so I know how to package it up. And then I have this fly drop necklace. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I haven't been doing measurements. Um, so this is, I will do it on this one, I promise. Um, with a barrel clasp, it is, and, something Dallas. What? And and Chacon Dallas? Huh. Okay. And then it's this Y drop. It is um, kind of a short necklace. Um, so let's see what our drop is here. Um, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. It's, um, it is about an eight inch drop and then 10 inches all the way down to the Y. So that's pretty nice. And it's on a bar link chain. It's on this bar link chain here. So that's nice. I will probably do some research on that maker. We have a long beaded necklace. Um, and this is by C1946. It's on a rose gold chain. It kind of feels like a, definitely a cheapy chain. Um, and then it's got some tiger's eye beads. And then these acrylic beads that are like clear on the outside, but then opaque in the middle. So they're like translucent on the outer 
and then opaque in the middle. That's kind of cool. I've never seen anything like that. And then these little nuggets. Um, but I think they're just, you know, regular acrylic beads. Um, and the tiger's eye is the only thing that's really uh, anything. There is um, this right here. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure that's just plastic. And so and it has a really nice look to it. You can adjust it to any level, but it does have an extender. It's about a three inch extender. And it measures to a 14 inch drop. Uh, no, 15, we'll say 15 inch drop. Um, so that's a nice piece. I really like that. I like the tiger's eye. That's pretty. And then we've got this black glitzy piece here. Um, kind of just reminds me of like an icing or a, or a, um, Claire's type of necklace, but let's see. Let's see who we are. <gasps> are you kidding me? It's a Liz Claiborne. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, um, Liz Claiborne Lobster Clasp has... Uh, an extender and um, and it's a Y drop and it measures at eight inches with a drop of 10 with the Y so that's a cute piece but that'll just go into one of my um, 10 piece lots. Got it. A nice uh, silver bead that are not magnetic. Um, and this says what? Tublery. Liz and Co. I believe that's one of Liz Claiborne's company, like one of her brands. Um, but I'm going to set this aside because it wasn't, I don't know if it's real metal. I want to take a closer look to the inside. I think it's just silver, like plated, like painted uh metallic um because it's not cold or anything and it's not real heavy um so i'll take a a closer look at that and then we have another y drop necklace it has some um so these look like cat's eye beads Oh, you can't really see. Um, and then it has like the the gunmetal and this these purple ones um, with this drop here. And I tested this earlier because I I used it as one of my um, when I got my Presidium <laughs> back, I wanted to test it out right away. And so this is just glass. This came up just glass. So did these. But these are nice. It's got that um, chunky chain here. It's a New York and company. Um, the heart has like a fleur-de-lis in the, in the center of it. You know, people People like the fleur-de-lis. So 
So there's that. Okay. And then I have a looking glass. Um, and it's real sweet. It has the, um, it has like a floral design here. Um, it is, or are those stars? Those are stars. Um, and then it's on a long gold chain and it is signed 1928. Um, so this is real nice. It doesn't have a lot of wear on it. Um, so it is definitely a nice piece. I will probably sell it individually. I am not gonna test it because the last one I tested, um, you know, uh, showed the copper underneath and I was so disappointed. Um, this one is just a beaded boho two strand. Looks like um, this ribbon, I don't know. It, it's kind of funky. Um, I don't believe any of these are real stones. Um, so this will probably just go into a, a lot. I've got a multi-string uh, strand um, of these beads. Um, this is really pretty. It's a rose gold, um, and the pearls are uh, faux pearls. And do we got a maker? Let's see. Roman. It's a Roman necklace. Very nice. Chain looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any discoloration. I'll probably look at the sheen on the pearls a little closer, make sure there's no chipping. And then I have this piece. Um, this also kind of has like that Egyptian vibe to it. I think it's this piece that makes it look like that. I don't know. Um, so these are like torpedo beads. <laughs> um, and then there's the faceted beads. That's really cool. These probably need to be cleaned up a little bit. But it goes around. And then at the bottom, the drop is just a square um, with a, that looks like enamel. And it says LCL or LCI. So I don't know, maybe Um, I will look into that one. Okay. Moving right along, we've got some metal discs on a multi-chain. Um, it is a collar necklace with, um, a, about a two inch extender and it is, a, um, Liz Claiborne. And these are just textured ovals. And that's gold tone. That's kind of nice. I like that. Simple, yet elegant. Oh, I hate double strands. I do. So there. It's nice. Okay. 
so this one, guys, is something I've never seen before. Look at these square pieces. I think, I think that they used to be like some kind of like computer chip and then people just glued rhinestones to the bottom of it. I mean, that's what it totally reminds me of. And then it's on these um, bar links. But I don't know, like, hey, you guys, what is the deal? I mean, they look, they look like computer chips. <laughs> And, um, like on a motherboard, you know, it just looks very, um, different. It's very unique. And it is made, oh, what is that? That's a new mark for me. Um, okay, so it says Ayala Bar. Ayala Bar. And then on this side, it has like the, I don't know, her symbol, I guess. Um, so this is just a different piece. I'm going to research the Ayala bar um, just because this is such a unique piece. Okay, I've got this piece right here, which is a, a bib style or festoon. It's my new word of the day, festoon. Um, it's got little rhinestones, um, clear and black, and it's on a bar chain. And it is by... Um, 1928, so this festooned bib necklace, it's cute. And then I've got another Druzy, and it was coming up as Amethyst when I tested it. Um, and then it has these, the gold chain with the double spring rings. So, which makes me believe that it is a shirt necklace. But that doesn't mean that you can't clasp it onto something else like that other Druzy. Like if we um, added it to that, that would be really cute. I've got a bumblebee. I don't know who likes bumblebees, but I got one. Um, and it's on a gold tone chain. And it is by who? Liz Claiborne. And, ooh, promising. That's promising. So I'm gonna set this aside to um, be tested. And I will let you know. Then I have, ooh, I like this piece. This Chloe's Cloisonne with the purple flowers. Um, one of those maybe forget-me-nots or lilies or something. And then um, these like gray twisted beads that have just like that gray enamel on it. And it's on a, I believe it's a called a box chain. And the Cloisonne also, let no, okay. Has a tag here, has a tag that's got something on it. Let's take a look. Can you see it? 
I cannot. Not from this angle. Okay, let me go in for a closer look. It says, Korea. Okay. It says Korea. Um, there's nothing on the back of it. Um, I'll probably, no, no. Um, so yeah, this will go into, I don't know. I might sell it individually just because clothes and A's is, um, you know, people like cloisonne and they look for it. So I might do that. Um, here we've got a twisted double chain necklace. Very simple. I'll probably just set this to the side because I never know when I'm going to need it. Um, and that one also says Korea. So it's just a simple braided chain. Got some fireflies. Um, silver one and a gold one on this gold chain. And it does have an extender with these paper clip. And that says Clara. Clara bead. I think it says Clara bead or Clara bear. Um, so I'll look into that one. Um, I don't believe that it is. Uh, no. Well, I think I'll probably set that aside to test for later. This one says grandma, grandmother, and it's silver. And then it has this pave ball. And little station, station chain. That's cute. Simple. It hangs really low. And it is made by VB. Uh, I will do some research and find out who that is. All right, that is a sweet piece for grandma. Okay, let's zoom me out here and see what we have left. We've got a wire necklace with just this simple um, pendant on it. Uh, magnetic, so it's not real silver. Um, and it is by New York and Company. And surprisingly, this wire chain is in good condition. We've got this piece. Long piece that has some interesting beads on it. It's got this metal ball, this like kaleidoscope thingy for whatever you call it, some hoops, um, glass beads, oval links. Look, they don't look like they have wear, so that's kind of cool. And then one of these little um, roses, it's a black rose um, made out of like acrylic. So that's cool, and that's a New York and Company as well. And the last one is a tassel. It's a chain tassel with this pave ball um, on a large oval link chain that is in good condition. It is a New York and Company, yeah. New York and Company, and it does have an extension.
and um, you know the tassel still looks pretty good. Probably give it a little clean up because it does feel like you know that old jewelry feel. Um, so yeah. All right, so that is going to be the end of today's jewelry. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, and um, that way you can get your 15% coupon for my eBay jewelry um, if you subscribe, okay? So I will see you guys later. Let me know how I did and if um, what you guys would like to see more of. Um, and I will be talking to you later. Bye.